If you're not changing your tempos in your workouts, you definitely are missing, missing a trick. I wanted to do a quick video about tempo in your weight training. I'll show you that on the bench. Normal speed, people are going down and up. This sort of speed. What you can try and do is change that tempo. For example, you can do a three second down, one second pause, one second up. So you've got a slow control movement down, you've got the pause, and then you've got the explosive movement on the way up. The reason for doing this is because uh, it will work the muscle in a different way. If you're just doing the faster movements, yes, it will be quite explosive and it will work the muscles, but you won't get the work through on the muscle through the full range. So if I'm doing the normal way and I'm just going one second down, one second up, not only am I not using the muscles at every part of the move because I'm using momentum and that explosive power, but also I've probably only got two seconds worth of pressure and load and tension on the muscles. Whereas on the, the slow rep where I'm taking three seconds down, one second pause and one second up, I've got five seconds of tension on the muscle per rep. Let's say two seconds per rep, 10 reps, 20 seconds, versus let's say five seconds per rep, 10 reps, 50 seconds. That's massive difference, two and a half times. And that is why changing tempo and how you lift the weights can be really, really good for developing larger muscles, getting through training plateaus, that kind of thing. Um, if you're not changing your tempos in your workouts, you definitely are missing, missing a trick. One little warning is that if you're used to lifting, say, 80 kilos, 100 kilos on the bench press for eight reps, when you go down to that slower tempo, you're really gonna have to drop the weight to get that same number of reps. And the key thing is always control. Never sacrifice uh, the quality of your movement for a heavier weight. Any questions, just drop me a message.